Tractate Beta, page 35, um, A, part 2. The words Urminu, and we raise a contradiction from a different source, in which it is taught if one was eating from a cluster of grapes, whose work is not completed, as grapes are designated for juice extraction, and came in from a garden where one may eat fruit in a casual manner without separating tithes to a courtyard, Rabbi Eliezer says he may finish eating the cluster, as the courtyard itself does not establish the fruit with regard to tithes if their work was not completed beforehand. Rabbi Yehoshua says he may not finish. He maintains that a courtyard does establish the fruit as fixed for tithes, even if their work has not been completed. Similarly, if it grew dark on a Friday evening, the night of Shabbat, while one was eating the cluster, and eating on Shabbat is considered a fixed meal, Rabbi Eliezer says he may finish, as not even Shabbat establishes fruit as fixed if its work was not completed. And Rabbi Yahushua says he may not finish. He holds that Shabbat does indeed establish fruit as fixed for tithes, even if its work has not been completed. This indicates that Rabbi Eliezer maintains that Shabbat does not establish food with regard to tithes, whereas the Mishnah here indicates that he agrees that the beginning of Shabbat does establish them as fixed. The Gemara answers there, the reason is, as he taught explicitly that Rabbi Natan says, it is not that when Rabbi Eliezer said he may finish, he meant that he may finish in the courtyard itself, but rather he meant he may exit the courtyard and finish. And similarly, it is not that when Rabbi Eliezer said he may finish, he meant that he may finish on Shabbat itself, but rather he meant that he may wait until the conclusion of Shabbat and finish. If so, this source does not contradict the Mishnah here. With regard to the halakhic ruling in this case, when Ravan came from Eretz Yisrael to Babylonia, he said that Rabbi Yochanan said, whether it, with regard to Shabbat or with regard to the separation of truma from fruit, or with regard to a courtyard into which the fruit is brought, or with regard to a transaction, all of these cases establish a requirement for tithes only for items whose labor is completed. The Gemara notes that each of these details teaches a novel halacha. How so? Shabbat comes to exclude the opinion of Hillel, as it is taught in a Brayta, one who gathers fruits from one place to another in order to reap them, and the day sanctified upon them. In other words, Shabbat commenced, Rabbi Yehuda said, Hillel prohibits the food from the gatherer himself. In other words, Hillel alone prohibits eating the fruit in that, in that case until its tithes have been separated. For he believes that the beginning of Shabbat itself causes the fruit to be considered completed. Rabbi Yochanan teaches that the halacha in this case is not in accordance with the opinion of Hillel.